Hello all, I am Dr. Prabhas Chanjanbal. In today's class, we'll discuss about the ambiguous grammar. So what is the meaning of ambiguous grammar? Ambiguous grammar is nothing but, ambiguous grammar is nothing but, if a grammar, if a grammar has more than one past tree, if a grammar has more than, more than one past tree, if a grammar has more than one past tree, for any input string, if a grammar has more than one past tree for any input string, then it is called as, then it is called as ambiguous grammar. This is very, very important. If a grammar has more than one past tree, more than one past tree means just like leftmost derivation, leftmost derivation, leftmost derivation. Suppose like a rightmost derivation, rightmost derivation, okay? Leftmost derivation, rightmost derivation, like this. If a grammar has more than one past tree for any input string, then it is called as ambiguous grammar. Okay. So what is unambiguous grammar? So if a grammar has, if a grammar has only one past tree, only one past tree for all input strings, only one past tree means suppose we'll uh, we'll select one uh, input from the grammar. Suppose for like, suppose one grammar is given like S2, AB, A2, A, and B2, B. Suppose this is one uh, means grammar is given. Suppose one input string like AB. Suppose one input string like AB. If for this one input string, means for this given input string, if the past tree is only one, means unique past tree, we can say, if past is always unique, then it is called as unambiguous grammar. If for this given input string, if this for this means given input string, if uh, the uh, means there are multiple number of past trees, there are multiple number of past like one past is leftmost derivation, one past is rightmost derivation, then this grammar is called as ambiguous grammar, okay? So later we'll decide this grammar is ambiguous or unambiguous. Now we'll see with the help means of what is the meaning of ambiguous grammar and unambiguous grammar with the help of example. Just see, this is very famous example. Verify the given grammar, verify the given grammar like this one is ambiguous or not, is ambiguous or not. Okay, so now we'll select one input string. Now we'll select randomly we'll select one input string like ID plus ID star ID. Okay. This is my input string. This is my this is my input string. Now we'll see for this given input string, uh, can we generate means uh, one past tree or more than one past tree? Just see. Just see, we'll generate first how to get this. Input E two just say E two E plus E then E two E star E, then E2, ID, then E2, ID, then E2, ID. So this, this is one pass tree. This pass tree will generate the input string like what? ID plus ID star ID, right? So now we'll check, now we'll check. Can we generate one more pass tree? Can we generate one more pass tree for the given? input string, okay, just see. We'll try E2, E star, E, then E plus E, E to ID, E to ID, E to ID. So this is one more pass tree. This is the second pass tree. The second pass tree also generate the input string like what? ID plus ID star 
ID. Let's see. Okay. So that means for the given input string, that means for the given input string, there are two different parse states. There are two different parse states. This parse tree means first parse tree and the second parse tree. Both are not same. Both are not same. This is called as the rightmost derivation. This is called as the leftmost derivation. Okay. This is this uh, this is around left recursive uh, this type. Uh, this is generally we derive the leftmost first one. This is generally we derive the rightmost part. Okay. So, but anyway, but anyway. Both fast trees are completely different, but the same input string. For same input string. Means which past tree is correct? Which past tree is correct? The first tree is correct or the second past tree is correct for the given input string. So that's why it is ambiguous. That's why this grammar is called as ambiguous. Means for any input string, means for the given input string, there are two different past trees. There are two different past trees. So this given grammar is called as ambiguous, ambiguous, right? So the given grammar is called as ambiguous. Now we'll see one more example. Let's see. Verify the given grammar, verify the given grammar is ambiguous or not, okay? This is the given grammar, okay? Now we'll select uh, one example like, suppose triple A. Triple A. This is one of the input string. This is one of the input string. Okay. So first we'll generate one pass string. S2. What AS? Then S2. Uh, SA. Then S2. A. This is one pass string. Okay, now we'll try one more pass tree. S2, AS, then S2, AS, then S2, A. Okay, so this, the first, the first pass tree will generate the input string like triple A. The second pass tree will generate the pass tree like what? Triple A. Okay. So both fast trees, both fast trees generate the same number of means, sorry, generates the same input or same input string. So that's why means both fast trees are not same. This fast tree and this fast tree, both fast trees are not same. Okay. So that's why the given grammar is also called as what? Ambiguous grammar. Ambiguous grammar. Right. So now we'll check one more example. Okay, verify, verify the given grammar, verify the given grammar is ambiguous or not. Okay, uh, this is the input, uh, sorry, this is the given grammar. Now we'll select, uh, now we'll select one input string, uh, like uh, AB, AB. We we'll select one input string like AB, AB. Just see, we'll try S2, A, S, B, S, A, B, then S2, A, S, B, S. This S is epsilon, this S is epsilon, this S is epsilon. A, epsilon, B, epsilon, okay? This past will generate, uh, will generate the input string like A, B, A, B. Now we'll try one more example. Now we'll try one more example. See, uh, sorry, one more fast tree. We'll try A, S, B, S. So here we'll write B, S, A, S. So this is epsilon. This is epsilon, this is epsilon. So this is A, then B, then A, then B. This past tree will also generate the input string like A, B, A, B. Okay. So for 
one input string like a b a b there are two different pass tricks there are two different there are two different what pass tricks two different pass tricks so the given grammar is called as ambiguous grammar so the given grammar is called as ambiguous grammar okay so now we we'll see some notes now we'll see some notes here there is no algorithm there is no algorithm to decide a given grammar is ambiguous or not there is no algorithm to decide a given grammar is ambiguous or not that's why identification of ambiguous grammar is always undecidable that's why identification of ambiguous grammar is always but undecidable okay so this is the end of today's class in the next class we will discuss about we will discuss about precedence and associativity of the operator okay this is very very important class okay in the next class we'll discuss okay thanks for watching